guys, Richie here from the Just Saying Podcast. We're here with Kevin. We've just finished round three of the Justice Series. Uh, Kevin's got a, a really cool looking army and one that you don't see quite often. So we're going to have a quick chat to him about it, how his games have gone, and yeah, see how, see how your day's been. So let's have a look at the army first. So it's all of these three maggot lords mainly. So we've got all three of them backed up by a demon prince, a couple of heroes, uh, sorcerer, sorcerer, uh, chaos lord. Ton of Blight Kings, well not a ton, 3 to 5, Chaos Knights, and of course these things will get summoned as the game goes on. So you don't see this much, and early on today, you've done pretty well. So, Kevin hasn't played for, what? It's about 3 games in 24 months, pretty much. Fair enough, so you're straight back to it today, you were like, what book do I need to buy, Rich? Sell me some <laughs> dice, sell me a tape measure. That's true. You stole 2 wins early on. So what did you play to start off with? Started against Corn and the blood first ever rocketed 20 inches at me and took out two units before I even knew what was going on. <laughs> uh, but that, how did it end? How did you get back in it? Just kept going. It was points, I think from playing other games, you realised you played the scenario. Yes. And I really pushed to get a four, which made him move where he didn't want to go. So and apparently for the pass, grabbed that four. Yeah, yeah. One, you're right, one of them can end the game. Yeah, so Sometimes. I, got, I got it early after grinding through the blood letters. Uh, the scenery the tree was right in the way, so he couldn't get all the blood letters in. And as a result, I got through in before before he could awesome. like, stop me. And the blood first went down through a mistake. He should have used the blood first, and two black, two black kings took the last four wounds off him. So he just didn't expect that. And got so the, got the win. Got, he's got to have a bit of luck, I think. Yeah. Nice. So round two, you played skeletons and Neferatu and a zombie dragon. Yes. And three places of power. Okay. And I didn't know the army did it so well, but it's a mortal wound engine in the spell phase and the with the scenery and the wheel as well. Okay. So I was lucky that the wheel went on to be three wounds on the three units and I think turn one I peppered ten wounds off Neferatu. So she left on one. There are, there are a lot of points, they're more talks out there, they don't have a lot of wounds and yeah. stuff like that is going to finish them off pretty quick, so good the, stuff. The zombie dragon was good, like, these guys are naff, but this guy dies really well, and the four, a four up mortal wound for every wound he takes, took like eight off the zombie dragon. Oh wow, so, and it had the Nabithereal, was it, as well? So um, it had a three up save that you can't modify, I can't remember yeah. what that was. Yeah, that, it's exactly it's that Ethereal, yeah. yeah. So new Kevin's, he doesn't even know about Ethereal abilities, you're going to learn this Kevin. <laughs> Yeah, so, so it was horrible, but I got him so low, and then again the, the spells of the terrain took him off. And my guys have been on the objectives to get the points later on. Oh, nice. Uh, the Chaos Knights do absolutely nothing, but they hold the foot. They're yeah. fast enough to go and hit a flank of a big box of skeletons. By the time you get enough guys in to hit me, they've blocked his whole advance behind it. We've talked about that on the podcast quite a lot, actually. Units like that, like Gore Grunters, that quick get an objective, will beat up weak units or, or, or hold them up. So, it's good. It let the sorcerer come in behind them and have two turns of getting a point, or two points, whereas the skeletons just couldn't reach him because it was such a long line. Which, if they hit the flank, then they're all moving towards them, struggling. Yeah. The Necromancer was stuck and he couldn't get round as well. So. so, unfortunately, though, last game, not quite the same story. No. You come across <laughs> Ivan Deep Kin in game three. Yeah, I had no idea of it. Well, I knew it was deep striking, but I didn't know it was on my board edge, so I didn't make a plan really. They came on and smashed me. That ended up pretty quick, didn't it? The eels, obviously, they outclass a lot of these models, don't they, really? Yeah. You, you, you were in it for a long time, but. The game not, was over. The game was over. The game though. was over, turn. As soon as you got the double turn, yeah. turn one to two, and hit me twice, it was done. So, have you enjoyed the event today? Yeah, it's been good to play again. Uh, I've not played in so long, I've not even rolled the dice in a game for, since last, last year, yeah. this time last year. But it's more of a community in Liverpool, which is great, so it's something I can play more. Nice, well, it's good, to good to have you back, mate. So yeah, yeah. Uh, It's weird that not because it's a single face. And yet, back at Fantasy, Liverpool was massive, but this is massive, and that's testament to a brilliant story. So. We've heard that mentioned quite a bit, in that like the Mersey Meltdown, I think it was called, was, quite, was mentioned quite a lot when there was... Um, when we were organising our two day for the first time, so. Yeah. Well, Kev, thanks very much for coming on, mate, and um, yeah, speak to you soon. Nice one. Thanks, guys, thanks for tuning in.